breaking news. Man, I kill it because I want me but you are dead. Oh, I'm a bot you there. Breaking news, get a killing man because he don't know if he could go. Breaking news, he know about sardines, yeah. mackerel, yeah. chicken neck, yeah. chicken back. Yeah. No, no, we are not another sweat. Breaking news, you know the thing. Go, wag one, wag one, what's great. You normally use the intro before the actual vibes cartel intro, but today. Is a special and a different day. Today is in celebration of Mother's Day. First and foremost, big up my mother, Miss Pauline Bailey. You know the thing, big up Alisa, cause she's the mother of my child. You see me? And then big up my mother in law, Miss Joanne. Big up all of my sister in law, them who are mothers, all of my friends who are mothers. I can't call out every mother name because the video that done. You see me? But today we're focusing on the thugs them. The man them, the gentleman. We are focusing on you today. Breaking news, yeah, yeah, that's a that's new song. Breaking news. The girl say, poison him. I had that's a that's new song, I remember. But either way, you can't afford to get poison you know. So you need to learn how to cook so that the woman them don't poison you off. So put fun and joke aside. I want to teach the men, the thugs them, the gentlemen them, how to prepare some food for your lady, for your mom, for your sister who is a mother, you see me? For your cousin who is a mother, for your girlfriend, your wife who is a mother. Give the woman them a break and make them some lunch. I'm the man them. When you see how the girls them love me, because I can cook. But here I try to tell you now. You don't need to learn how to do the thing. Cook for the mothers. I don't want to enjoy that video here. But this video is going to be a throwback. Get it right. I don't want when you see this video say, yo, why is it saying Valentine's when it's uh, Mother's Day. I made this video for Valentine's, but I want to recreate this video. Not really recreate it, but I want to re-edit it and post it so you can learn how to cook, especially in this quarantine time, for your mothers. You know what I say? Cook her that restaurant style food, delicious. And what we're making today is cheesy roasted red pepper and spinach stuff, chicken breast, served with deep fried mashed potato you say deep fried mashed potato yes it a good nice and some simple tomato and vine roasted and trust me you do this for your mother your wife your girlfriend your cousin once they're even they don't even have to have a child once they just show that love to a child they are mother figures you see me so big them up big up all of the mothers worldwide you see me you can go to the restaurants you know, because they're all closed but I am going to bring the restaurant to you. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know the intro long. I may have to make you know some of the people in my love coming in the comments are all video this. No child beat me bad. And for the mothers, fathers, there's just around the corner. I don't want to knock on top, but oh, you're going to just buy the man who KFC. I want to look up. I have a whole heap of video. By the way, me love steam fish. Alisa already wrote down a full list of what she wants for Mother's Day. Food. So guess what? She better know that she's going to make me some steam fish with okra in a hit, you see me? Because of that my thing. So you ensure that you get yourself in order, ladies. You know my love, you know, because 90% of my supporters are the females. But today, I represent for the thugs. I want to involve them in the kitchen so that they can cook for you. So they can rest in the foot a little bit. You see it? So without further delay, forward, let me show you what I want. I have here a whole chicken that I'm going to be using, right? I want to take the breast off as well as the thighs and then debone the thighs. All right, so I'm just going to cut the breast. First of all, I'm going to cut it in two. So you find that joint bone there in the middle of the chest. Just run your knife along. So we find that joint bone in the wing. We we'll just cut it. We're going to keep the wing attached to the breast. As I said before, you can skip this method and just buy the chicken breast that's already cut. So now that we have the breast half, it's going to remove the wing now. Just going to put it right in the joint and remove the flat part of the wing. So this is what we're left with, right? Just going to sear the skin off to get like a nice finish. So we're not going to remove the skin. I'm keeping the wing part attached for presentation purposes. For the dark meat now, you just crack it like that to find the joint bone. You run a knife right down the joint bone like that. Remove the excess skin. So now I have that joint bone going, right? Next up, I want to just debone this. So find that bone in the thigh. Just pull it back like that. Take the meat from the bone. Just work my way around that bone. And I already have a video out that will give you in-depth 
details as to how to achieve this at home how to debone your very own chicken use your hand at this point and pull it off just like this all right so you left with that bone what you do now is just push your finger in and pull it back out so there you go and that's the fat so for those who may like dark meat over white meat you can do this right so i've gotten these washed already with some lime and vinegar right so now i'm going to go in with about a tablespoon and a half of all-purpose seasoning so i'm going to go in with some black pepper about half teaspoon garlic powder and half teaspoon onion powder i'm going to go in with a sprinkle of thyme leaves and we're just going to mix that all together I'm just going to add some ground paprika for color half teaspoon just the same rub it in rub it in all right so you're gonna get a deboning knife or a paring knife just something small enough right where the wing is attached to the breast pierce your knife in put your hand flat keep your knife steady in place and you create a gap in the middle ensure not to pierce the skin you want to make room you want to go even with the sides because you don't want one side to be too thin you don't want to burst it you don't want that cheese oozing out right so you see that opening i got that opening still have this intact my finger is not coming out the skin so that's what you want for the thigh now you don't have to do that with the thigh because remember we deboned it already you have that gap in there where you can stuff so this right here is a scotch bonnet cheddar cheese and trust me it's very tasty it has that kick to it if you're down for spices right and i'm using of course some regular mozzarella cheese to give it that stretch when you cut into the chicken breast so i'm going to grab my chicken breast again skin side down so i get my spinach these were already washed get about five leaves of this spinach lay them out like that our scotch bonnet cheddar and that mozzarella then i'm going to go in with my roasted red peppers you can get this to buy in walmart or any of your local grocery store this is basically one red pepper but i'm going to use half in each put that on top just roll it up like that doesn't have to be perfect as i said get your breast open it up and just puff that and this is how i get my chicken breast stuffed and look at that it's firm and the wing on there just gives it a nice little finish and to finish that i'm gonna go in with some basil leaf sprinkle that on top all right so for the thigh now the same rule applies I'm just gonna stuff that right down in the leg if out you know to come right through the thigh you just sort of overlap that if you have like a cooking cord you can use that to tie up the thigh just flip that over just to let it sit and seal so there you have it that's a tie for those who likes the dark meat and of course buzz up the thing with some basil so here i have my cast iron skillet and the first thing you want to do ensure the pot is hot before you add your oil then we're going to go in with some cooking oil about three tablespoons and i'm going to add my chicken breast skin side down first at this point you want to preheat your oven to 380 degrees Fahrenheit and we're not going to cook these in the crock we just want to sear them to get like a nice color on them right so you know it's really about a minute to a minute and a half you try to lift it up and if it comes up easily you know it's ready to turn it over like that because we got that color we're not trying to cook it we're just trying to get that color i'm just going to remove these now and put them in a casserole dish remember we're not trying to cook them just need color i'm just gonna rinse that bowl that we did the chicken in and add the liquid with about two tablespoons of liquid nothing too much because the chicken will produce its own liquid all right so we're just gonna wrap that up with some tin foil so we do this so that it doesn't dry out i'm gonna stick this in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes so in that same skillet we're gonna saute about half of an onion I'm gonna add half teaspoon of garlic I'm gonna go in with a tablespoon of butter and keep this on low heat so you don't want to burn your onions and garlic a tablespoon of all-purpose flour so once you get that flour incorporated in I'm gonna go in with a cup and a half 35% whipping cream and mix that in 
We're going to season to taste sprinkle of black pepper, one teaspoon of all purpose seasoning. We're going to get half teaspoon of basil in there and a dash of Parmesan cheese. You don't want to put too much because the Parmesan cheese itself is very salty. We're going to go in with half cup of chicken stock. You can click that link above and it will show you how we prepare our very own chicken stock. Tablespoon, your choice of white wine. And while that's thickening up, just gonna blend out a bit of that roasted red pepper just to get a bit of that flavor in there. Pepper that we have, just gonna use about one piece. Drop that in there. It's gonna go with a tablespoon of our chicken stock. Just to help the blending process. Pull that up. Get a bit of that roasted red pepper flavor in there. And also to change the color of our sauce, our rosé looking sauce. Leave this to simmer on very low heat and check it in between that seven minutes to ensure that it's not sticking, right? So in the meantime, we're gonna work on that deep fried mashed potato. Paul, let me show you what I want. You want to get yourself some mashed potato, right? And if you want to learn how we made this nice cheesy mashed potato, click that link above and it will take you right over there. So to get this mashed potato deep fried, get yourself some spring roll pastry. Look for the end, you just rip off a piece. Be gentle with it and if you're very new to this you want to keep the pastry in the bag as soon as you take out one sheet because they go dry easily and they will break up. You have the pastry in a diamond shape towards you. You're going to go in with a tablespoon of your mashed potato. You get the pastry, you pull it up and you fold it over the mashed potato, tuck it under and roll. Now at this point you have the advantage to stretch out that mashed potato into the wrap to the thickness and length that you prefer. Give that a third roll and again when you tuck it under you're going to squeeze it together to keep it firm in place. Now this brings us to the middle of the pastry. You're going to fold each side in like this, in like that. Use a finger, stop right here under and you roll. When you reach about an inch you're gonna get some water, you just rub it on there, not too much, and then you just seal it off. So that's how you get this perfect roll. So you repeat this process until you use up all your mashed potatoes and get the desired amount that you want. Alright, so now we're gonna fry these until golden brown and ensure that you're at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So there, these are nice and golden brown. Just gonna remove those from the oil, put them on a plate with paper towel. Strain this sauce off. You realize how nice and thick you got that sauce by reduction as well as the root. And that's what you don't want in your sauce when you got the flavor and the color from them. You don't want that texture, right? You have a nice silky smooth sauce to work with. Keep this on minimum until you're ready to serve it because you don't want it to get too thick on it. Now what you want to do to ensure that it's cooked, turn on the thermometer and place it at the thickest point. So 165 there about and your chicken is ready to go. Right? We're going to go in with some olive oil and our tomatoes on the vine. And we're going to sprinkle a bit of salt and pepper just to bring out that flavor in it. Just like that. And our skillet is already hot. That excess oil that's in the bowl, pour that in. Just nearly roasting these just to get some color and to bring out the sweetness out of it. So, tell me what you think, comment below. There you have it, restaurant brought to you. So we call it Asian Quarantine Grill, you see me? fine dine settings so if that's something that you just enjoy don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as i said this was a throwback from valentine's day about two years ago but it didn't get the attraction that it deserved and i found it to be fitting for this year mother's day as we cannot go out to the restaurant so we're just bringing the restaurant to you at home so yo try this recipe out i guarantee you they say the ways the ways are the way to a woman's heart a true their stomach hence that's why they become mothers today you see me? So if you want to find a way to your woman's heart, you know, if you haven't as yet, make sure so you try out that dish. Until next time, I have over 240 videos, so check those out. I have a lot of videos for the fathers, for the mothers, for the for 
everybody for the kids check them out you see me i'm going to be posting a few recipes that i have for a while now that people are sleeping on me i go wake you know because honestly me don't have a certain videos i'm going to revamp them and go to some 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 some, some as well as keeping it trendy and keeping it up to date so don't worry about that new videos are coming to you at least twice per week you see me so once again my people thank you very much to all the mothers out there happy mother's day to pauline bailey to alissa to miss joanne and to all the mother figures across the world man. and big up to all of my friends who are mothers as well thank you very much for just treat and caring for us sometimes we get annoyed of alissa as if jamir coffee run gone the man asleep my check on him every 20 minutes but guess what you cannot ask for something better than that because that's the love of a mother that all the mothers themselves understand because you bear that child and brought that child for nine months <laughs>